I'm Matthew, buyer for England at the Wine Society, and I'm here at Ridgeview in Sussex, home of the Society's exhibition, English Sparkling, to tell you a little bit more about English wine. The Wine Society has been championing English wine for decades, but despite a viticultural history going back millennia, English wine as we know it is still a fledgling business. However, albeit a short period of time, we've gained an incredible reputation, especially for traditional method sparkling wine, with producers such as Ridgeview and Nightimber trumping the likes of champagne at international competitions at regular occurrence. However, it's the still wines which have really been coming up trumps recently, with 2020 providing wines of outstanding quality. Spring frosts in May 2020 ravaged a number of vineyards throughout the south of England, meaning that although quality in 2020 was outstanding, quantity is in short supply. However, as we all know, it's at the limits of viticultural possibility where the world's finest wines are made. Our range of English sparkling wine gives us a tour of English terroir from a number of different producers, from a number of different counties, all across the south coast of England. From the green sands here in Sussex to the Devonian slate and granite in the Camel Valley of Cornwall, we'll be showcasing exactly what makes English sparkling wine from across England so different. Proof that there's more to England than chalk. In 2021, we're celebrating 20 years of working alongside the Roberts family at Ridgeview. And I'm delighted to be joined by family members Tamara, the CEO, and Simon, the head winemaker. So Simon, what do you think is so exciting about English wine at the moment? I just think it's um, a really exciting time. We're making some really interesting wines. There's a lot of new producers coming on board. And I just think it's a really exciting time to be in our industry. And in our glass, we've got the Society's Exhibition English Sparkling Wine. Could you tell us a little bit about it? So this wine is uh, it's a Chardonnay dominant, um, but there's still Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier. Um, there's some, a lot of citrus, some tropical on the nose. Uh, it's really complex. I think this is tasting really well. I'm really happy with it. Couldn't agree more. Yeah, Cheers. Cheers. Thank you very much. So Tamara, could you tell us the history of Ridgeview? Well, um, it all started back in 1995 when our family planted the first vines here. Um, we were dedicated back then to making traditional method sparkling wines from traditional varietals, so Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Pinot Mernier, and we remain committed to that to this day. Um, strangely, back then, um, those varieties were thought not to be able to be grown in the UK so it was quite a, a risk that we took back then which you probably wouldn't think today considering the growth in the industry in, in that area. So obviously we are basking in sunshine at the moment but what for you are the major challenges in producing English wine? I think that's uh, you've hit the nail on the head there we're basking in sunshine now but a few minutes ago we were sitting in pouring rain so the weather is one of our biggest challenges uh, it impacts so much of what we do um, particularly uh, achieving yields uh, of perhaps equivalent to other areas or other grape growing areas in the world. So that's one of our biggest sort of challenges over which we have no control. Uh, but you can throw into that some other economic political challenges that come away with Brexit and seasonal labour being a particular one for this year. Um, and constantly having to overcome different things and different growing seasons. No two growing seasons are the same in the UK. Absolutely. Thank you so much. No problem. A huge thank you to Tamara and Simon. As I'm sure you can tell, we are hugely excited about English wine at the Wine Society, and we cannot wait to share more with you, our members, over the next few years. So, in classic English summertime fashion, we've gone from incredible sunshine to an absolute deluge of rain in just a few minutes. So I think I'll stay undercover for a little bit longer, have another glass of wine, and from everybody at Ridgeview and me, cheers.